All right, listen, man. Here's, I'm gonna, what do you want? This is dark chocolate and this is peanut butter. Dark chocolate or peanut butter, my friend? Dark chocolate or peanut butter? Dark chocolate, please. All right, man. Can you eat that? Yes. Go ahead. We're gonna watch a video. history to trace back from and to see that people are living like that in this day and age and that kind of condition is really upsetting. Mm -hmm. And that people are going through, are experiencing. How is it knowing that people are experiencing exactly what your ancestors experienced? Um, I feel like obviously it's upsetting but to see it is a different kind of experience because slavery, you really only see, well, obviously you see pictures and things like that, but to see it firsthand in a video is a different mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. I think it's difficult to see, um, especially seeing that no one is doing any, like, anything to really stop it. Um, I know chocolate companies have um, come together and they're supposed to buy their cocoa from suppliers that are using legal workers, and, and that's just, like the cut down the slavery and um, the illegal working that's been done in the Ivory Coast and in Ghana. Mm -hmm. But I think they need to do like a better job because when, when people use cheap labor, they can then sell their product cheaper to like American companies, like you know, companies mm -hmm. that are buying cocoa, like all the chocolate companies around the world. So it's, like, it's just like their job, especially to make sure that they're buying proper uh, cocoa from people that are doing legit business. So yeah, but people are doing stuffing, but they could do more, for sure. No, no question about it. We could know more, but how, Ron, how about you? It's just kind of crazy. Like, like I just ate a piece of chocolate like five minutes ago. Oh yeah. Hey, by the way, on that, um, my friend who has worked for he's the one who really put this chocolate issue out into the world about 15 years ago. He said that he can guarantee that unless you have fair trade chocolate. That's that's purchased from uh, that's sourced from some place that um, that where there's no slave labor involved. He can the way ch cocoa is sort of all comes together in the global marketplace, and because the Cote d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast produces about 40 percent of the world's chocolate, he can almost guarantee that in that piece of chocolate that you ate is slave labor. The slaves participated in 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 that chocolate in some way. Might be a very tiny, tiny amount, but he can guarantee. So in the same way that your relatives in Haiti, going back many generations, were producing sugar cane in Haiti, he can guarantee that you just ate chocolate that was somehow sourced by people like these men here. Like it's still happening like now, like today, like someone across the ocean is like, a slave right now. That's just kind of crazy. Dude, more than ever. Right? And so it's we something that people eat like daily. What's that? It's something that people eat daily. People make money off it. It's a billion dollar business. Yeah. But how do you not know? Our media doesn't show us. Like our media, like we don't wake up to news of slaves in Africa. Like we don't, we don't wake up to that news. Yeah, but our media doesn't show us a lot of things that I... Well, that's what white people say when we ask them about race. Like, for example, like in the U.S., like, you know, when we look at people, we, you know, we go, people like, hey, how do you not think about these issues? How come you haven't thought about this race inequality stuff, whatever it is? And people just say, I don't know. No one really talks about it at that level, right? Like, I don't really, I hear, you know, in my, the history books, we hear about the civil rights movement and this and that, but I don't know. No one ever really explained it to me. So you're, in a way, you're saying the same thing. No. That, no. Um, yeah, what are you saying? It's more like people are feeling that it's not affecting them. So it was like, if it isn't affecting me, a lot of people are just going on about their day and not caring, sort of. Like, All right, okay, so then are... I, okay, so then let me push back on this. So I just told you that my friend, I could put you in, con I, could, I could get his, give you his cell phone, right? So you knew something about this and you didn't do anything. So it didn't affect you. So you, you're not involved because what's your major? Supply chain. Supply chain. Dude, perfect. You could be supply chain. You could be involved with Anti-Slavery International. You could be, you could dedicate with a, with a degree 
from the Smeal College of Business at Penn State and supply chain. You could dedicate your life to stopping slavery. You could do more than anybody in this class. All you got to do is dedicate your life to it. But my guess is, even though you knew about it, you didn't think that, hey, that's an option for me? Option is, uh, like, to do that? Like, to get to yeah, stopping slavery? No, I actually did think about it. Not like stopping slavery, but more like um, I wanted to do sustainability. Okay. Like, I wanted to work in, okay, I wanted awesome. to do projects yep. in West Africa yep. to give uh, education and su supplies with the Hershey Company. Um, they have projects in, in Ghana specifically where they are helping farmers grow cocoa better. They're mm -hmm, giving them mm -hmm. technology. And they're also helping the kids become more educated. Like they're giving education to the kids and also giving out uh, supplemental bars. They are, Dude, are giving them food every day and stuff like that. Just doing, just teaching, <laughs> just focusing on, just focusing on um, sustainability in West Africa would go far, far, far towards stopping this. It's in the news. It's always in the news, right? It's here and there, right? It's out there. Like you say, it's, it's not, okay, it's not in the news like Donald Trump is the worst president in the world. That's like every day in our news media cycle, right? But what would your, this is gonna, this is, gonna, this is a really edgy question. What would your ancestors say to you that when they were back going back 150, 200, 250 years ago, when we talked about, like, there weren't photos. There weren't videos. So people heard about slavery. They kind of had an idea, but people didn't have photos. Like, they really, you didn't have access to it. You can pick up a phone and watch videos, right? Because there are hundreds of videos. And, but you can. And you're not. It's out there. I know about it. How do I know about it? I feel like they would say that not only me, but everybody that eats chocolate is like feeding into the suffering of other people, whether you're aware of it or not. Uh huh. How could you add to like another person's suffering, even if you didn't know about it? Like, um. Yeah, even if you didn't know about yeah. it, you should have known. Yeah, you should have known. Yeah. They would. They might say you should have known. Why didn't you know? I mean, I can come up with all the excuses that I want, but it's still happening. I still, like, mm -hmm. added to it. There's no excuse for that. Dude, um, and I'm not saying you should know. There are things out here that many of you know about, things that are going on that I don't know about. Things that you all probably are aware of that are going on I don't know about. And then I'm a sociologist who should know about these things, right? Like, how do I not know? But it's a question, right, that we're always asking. Because one of the things that I hear oftentimes to Americans in particular, is like, why don't you know what your government is doing? Your government is sending stuff all around the world. Like, why don't you know? Like, how you not know? And I'm like, yeah, why don't you not know? Come on. And then I look in the mirror, and I'm holding the mirror up, and I'm saying, wait, Sam, why don't you know? He wouldn't have anything really nice to say to you all. You all just ate three pieces of chocolate. And he says, You're eating, you ate my flesh. You're eating my flesh. What would you say to him? I would probably ask, like, what he thinks that I could do, or, like, uh -huh. America as a, I almost said community, um, America as a country could do better, or like how he thinks the problem could be solved, because at the end of the day, I can say that I want to change it as much as I want, but if there aren't policies in place to mm -hmm. help, then I can't do anything about it. Yeah, right. So like you as a person, you can stop any charge. In fact, can I just tell you something? Can I tell you all? My friend, who is one of the world's leading experts on modern day slavery, he, the one thing he says very clearly is don't boycott things. Like, don't boycott chocolate. It's like, look, they might, it's, it's like the worst, don't boycott things. It's like the worst thing you can do. But purchase fair trade things, push, you, know, you know what I mean? Like, be careful about what you purchase, but don't just start boycotting. It's actually not good. It doesn't help. But it makes things worse. So it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to say something to them because as much as you want to feel bad or say you're sorry for them, like, how sorry are you for him if you keep eating chocolate, you know? Mm -hmm. um, he's in, like, a terrible situation. And, like, of course I want to ask him, what could we do? Is there a possible solution? But, like, there's a lot to be done. But, like, as a person, as one person, as a yeah. person that eats chocolate, and as a person yep. that, you know, fed, fed into the system and that fed into, like, that people are, like, you know, using them, that, like... You really couldn't relate, and it would be hard to relate and feel his pain, really.
Yeah. I know. There's no answer here. By the way, if any of you are sitting out here thinking that there's a really easy answer, there's no easy answer. If my friend was here, he would, he would be very clear with all of us. There is no easy answer. So I don't. So what you're saying is like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm over here saying, okay, but don't stop eating chocolate, he would say. So, okay, what, right? What would you say to this guy? I would kind of say the same thing as him. Like, I don't even know if I could look him in the eyes. Like, I, like, I contributed to the scars on that man's body. And that's just kind of... Yeah, it's, 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 it's serious, right? This is just one, way you, one thing you see. So... Yeah, Sam. Do you, you, yeah. Somebody asked on Twitter, how does boycotting not help? Yeah, because what it does is it stops the, 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 the supply chain process. It puts even less, less money into the hands of people who could stop the whole process, right? For example, into the farms that are more sustainable, right? That aren't using slavery. You're boycotting all chocolate. So it's like even though you're stopping the slave-produced chocolate, cocoa, you're actually boycotting it all, which means now we have none and nobody's making any money, even the good folks. So that there are lots of reasons that a lot of people do and don't do certain things. Right. Now, though, would be to eat another piece of chocolate. I don't know about that one, dog. You might have to take that. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm okay. Yeah, but here's the problem. You can say, I'm not going to eat another piece of chocolate, but what about tonight when your friend says, hey, let's go to the, you know, the, the creamery and get, chocolate, get ice cream, and your favorite flavor is chocolate, and you're like, what, can I boycott chocolate the rest of your lives? You're not going to eat chocolate? I'll try. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I think I'll be more conscious about the decision. Yeah, I mean, you can buy, also, I buy chocolate by the case, my wife and I buy it by the cases, and we buy fair trade chocolate, and we literally buy chocolate by the cases, it's fair trade, it's much better than this crap, this isn't even chocolate, this is shit, right, I wouldn't eat this if it was the last thing in the world to eat, I wouldn't eat it, but, don't diss Hershey's, okay, I'm sorry, I'm it's not Hershey's, it. it's like, oh my god.